Hi again. Here we are to continue talking about the table view and continue working towards our table view with the stretchy header. Um, in the last video, we set up the table view and we just got the, you know, the basic setup. So we created a table view, we set the data source and delegate, we declared ourselves, you know, this view controller as the data source and delegate, and then we defined the delegate or the data source methods that are required, which are um, number of rows in section and cell for row at index path. Okay, so this is you know the basic code for getting a table view to work in almost every situation. Um, now let's actually put some data in the table view and display it on the screen. So what we need to do is we need to add some some data to the array. So really, you know, if we put something in the array, like if I say you know array dot, um, let me actually do it up here after I set the. Uh, or before I set the, the, the data source, right? So we'll say, uh, you know, array dot append um, some string like hello, right? And then if I'm to test it here, you know, our, our array now will have one item in it. And there it is at the top of the of the list, right? So, you know, really what I want to do is, is fill this with like 50 items, right? So, you know, we could have data, you could load data off the internet, you could get the data from anywhere. Uh, I'm just going to add a bunch of stuff to the array here. And for fun, I'm going to use the number formatter. So I'm going to say, you know, let formatter equal number formatter. So I'll make a new instance of the formatter. And I'm going to set the formatter um, number style to the spell out style. So what this will do is if I if I put a number into number formatter, it'll spell it out as in words, right? So that'll be fun. So it'll just instead of saying one, two, three, four, it'll actually say O N E T W O T H R E E, right? You know, it'll just spell out the words for the numbers. Okay. So uh, now we need to make some numbers though, right? So what we'll do is we'll we'll use a for loop. So because I, I just want to repeat a bunch of times. I don't want to have to actually type all the numbers in. So I'm going to say 4i in 1 to 50. Okay, and then we'll say let number equal formatter dot string from number. Okay, so now this is a little confusing maybe if you're just beginning, but um, string from number requires an ns number where I here is an int. So this is a, a different kind of number, right? So it needs one kind of number and we have a different kind of number here. So we can't just use the I here, right? Like that doesn't work. Um, I mean, we can put it there, but then it's gonna give us an error, right? So it's got some problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say NS number, and we wanna make a number from one of the, the types here, right? So we can use a, a bool, a double, a float, and then you'll notice int is possible. But we have to include this, this um, you know, name for that, right? Because you know the name for that parameter. So we'll we'll choose that here, and we put i in there, right? Um, and so that should give us our number all spelled out. And then what we'll do is we'll say you know array dot append number. Okay, so let's give that a try, right? So I'll I'll test it again. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I forgot. I, I got an optional value, right? Because, you know, if, if this wasn't a number or couldn't be converted to a number, then, you know, number formatter would return a, um, a you know, a, a, a nil value, right? So, so we need to um, actually unwrap that. I'm going to just put the exclamation point. You could use an if let and, and test here, but I think, I think we're okay. This should just be the numbers 1 to 50, right? So, uh, I'll just put the exclamation point on the end. There we go. And there we go. So there's all our numbers. One, one, two, three, four, five, right? All the way down to 50. Hmm, there's 50, right? So that's pretty good. Um, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll add the header, okay? And that'll be the stretchy header, right? So thanks for watching.